Hello, this is Dave from DCHybrids.com. Today I'm going to be showing you our digital EFI. I'm going to step you through the wiring and how to navigate through the menu. Here's the EFI here. It's got mounting brackets on the side. And here's its connection here. You don't need to take it apart to do any wiring. All you do is plug it in. It comes with the controller here. And it also comes with six foot of cable. One side plugs in. The other side has four colored pairs. There's an orange pair, and they're twisted together, a brown pair, a green pair, and a blue pair. The orange pair goes to 12 volts, a positive 12 volt connection. The brown pair goes to ground. Now the blue pair and the green pair are if you have two different sens two oxygen sensors. The green will go to one sensor, the blue will go to the other. You'll untwist the pairs, and the solid one goes to the sensor, and the striped one would go to the ECU. And that's the same for both. So the solid blue and the, would go to the uh, sensor, and the blue and white striped would go to the ECU. So for this demonstration, I have pre-wired here. Here's our connection. Just plug it in. The brown and the orange pair here, I got going to a 12 volt source. And then the green pair, the solid is going to the battery, and the white is going to simulate the ECU. And we're going to see our output voltage on here, on our voltmeter here. See, this would be our standard voltage from the sensor. It's 1.332. We have our offset, our output voltage on our FE set at 0.218. So what that'll do is when you hook this up to the wire that would be going to the ECU, it adds that voltage to what the, the sensor's telling. So as the sensor's changing, it'll be adding this voltage so it'll always, the, the vo voltage will still be changing but with this output added to it. Now I'm going to show you how to step through the menu. It's real simple to use. Just push the button in. That'll take you to the menu. And it says rotate to select. The first one is set oxygen sensor type. Push it in. There's a, two different sen sensor types you could select. Standard 1 volt, which we have this set up for, and also wideband. Wideband is, an, is a milliamp output setting and it's only usually on newer cars. So we're going to set it up for standard 1 volt. Select it. It says saved. Number 2, set FE output. Right now it's set at 0.218. We'll turn it down. And as you can see, as I'm turning it down, the voltage on the voltmeter is dropping also. So we'll turn it down to about 1 point, 0.152. Select, it says save. Three is warm up delay. What the warm-up delay does is when you turn it on, instead of setting the output voltage immediately, it'll add it slowly. And there's different select. You could set, select no delay so it just adds that voltage immediately, or you could select slow, medium, or fast. We're just going to leave it on no delay. About, that just tells you what the controller is the digital FE version 4.1 and it'll do standard 1 volt and also wideband. And then exit setup. And that's it. That's how to wire and navigate through the menu for our, our digital FE.